This company contacted me, Eligu. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. They're very nice. And asked me if I'd do a video on one of their products. Link in the description to this particular product. It's uh, called the Penguin, I believe. Um, it's Arduino based. It comes with everything that you could need. We're gonna take a look at it. I've never done anything like this before, either Arduino or having a company send me something. So this is interesting. And I was kind of excited about it because it looks like a really neat little project. Um, it's for beginners, for children or people who've never done it, which I could be considered both. All right, let's first thing first, null out everything. So we've got an instruction book lit. They give these cute little face pieces so you can uh, put it on the little robot to decorate it. And they have multiple different designs as well as blank ones. Right here is our circuit board. Little tiny screws in that bag. Charging cable about three foot long. Battery pack. Looks like it's a ELEG with a sideways eight. So almost like an infinity symbol. Rubber foot pads for the robot. <clears throat> Comes in three colors. Uh, black, white, and red is what I wanted. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right into this. And it says that they send you one extra of everything, which is really nice for all the hardware. I might need to grab some needle nose pliers. My fingers are too fat for this. I think this might be the hardest part, all the little. All right, one side down, one side to go. Okay, take out one and two from bag number one and two from bag number one. So they make it pretty simple. Bag number two, so definitely don't start dumping things out. Cool. Comes with micro SD card. I'm not over making anything overly tight. I'm just kind of snugging it down. flex in the sides you don't have to unscrew those. The battery pack goes right on those little studs I put in earlier. Alright, this looks like this should be the last piece. Snaps right in like that, nothing sticking out the sides. These boots were made for walking. No, these boots were made for dancing. This robot's gotta have some soul. It's not perfectly vertical. You adjust it. These screws that came with the servos.
turn off the power. It's okay to rotate a little bit. The screwdriver does have a magnetic tip, so that's very nice on this, such small parts. They have these little heads. We've got a blank robot one, totally blank one, so you can make your own, which I'm about to do here in a few minutes. This one looks like a Powerpuff Girl, but there is There's the finished penguin box. It's good size. It's you know, four to six inches tall. Let's go ahead and give it a face. All right, it says to glue together most of these tabs, which I'm not because I want to be able to take this back apart. But you could very easily take these. This back is so you can slide it on. Okay, so you don't have to program this thing because they already have programs on it. But if you want to alter the programs or make your own programs, you absolutely can. Um, it does have this cable, which can be used for both charging and connecting to your computer. Alright, I absolutely had fun with this but first before I finish I'm gonna go grab my phone and some markers All right. so I'll finish coloring this in off camera but if you haven't guessed I'm gonna name mine gizmo this took me under an hour to put together and I had fun putting it together it was very similar to Legos um, if you can put together Legos, you can put together this. It really does come with everything you need. But I will say, putting it together is only the first step in having fun with this thing. Downloading the app is the second. Making programs for it is where this will shine. So it can walk, it can see, it can sing, it can dance, it can play music. There it goes. Once your location turned on. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Again, everything I've done here so far is merely step one of this toy. This toy was fun to put together. I quite enjoyed it. It only took less than an hour. I've been filming for a grand total of an hour and a half since I opened the box to now. I took a couple breaks, I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I've got a drink over here, some soda, and uh, this was a lot of fun. I'm going to finish coloring it. I spent a while coloring on camera. I should have skipped over probably, but 
I'm definitely going to finish coloring this gizmo head. As you can tell, I've named it Gizmo. Don't get them wet. Don't feed them after midnight, right? Robots don't do well with that stuff. <laughs> this was a really neat project. I've never done anything like this. Again, this is the first time I've uh, been contacted for a project to do a video. They didn't ask me to do anything specific. They just said, we'll give you this, do a video on it. So here it is. I quite enjoyed this. This would be great it's for kids to learn how to do this sort of thing. It says 6 to 12. I'd say 9 or 10 to 12. Because some of these screws are really small and a 6 year old might not be able to deal with that very well. Uh, you definitely want a nice clean environment to start in case you drop a screw. Again, it's nice that the screwdriver has a magnetic tip. I really like that. Uh, everything you need to make this comes with this. Everything you need. The only thing that you have to bring is imagination. If you can do Legos, you can put together this penguin bot. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to start learning how to code up for Arduinos. Because that is the other half of this toy. This hour of putting it together and playing on my phone with it has been one thing, but this is, at its base, a tool to learn how to code Arduinos. But I know this was a fun little project. And uh, I'll drop a link in the description to their Amazon, um, some of their social medias. I'll put some links for their social medias in the description. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.